Charlotte, North Carolina, Thursday night, the city put a curfew into effect that took place at midnight. Uh, protesters are still on the streets of Charlotte. I spoke to Galat Thaler and Jonathan Blakely, our reporters on the ground, uh, about the uh, movement of protesters in the area. Uh, they told me uh, that, for the most part, uh, people were being peaceful, that they were still uh, hundreds, if not thousands of people uh, on the streets. But at this point, uh, uh, the uh, police posture uh, was not one of aggressiveness. Our CBS News field producer, Galat Thaler, is joining us from the phone. He is uh, in the midst of all of uh, the, the protests that are happening right now. Uh, and Galad, uh, I'm wondering, uh, as you've been there on the ground for a couple of days, uh, the, the, the mood to my eyes as we look at the images that are coming in to us it seems much different, much more different than it was yesterday. By this point yesterday, uh, police had fired tear gas, somebody had been shot. It appears now, uh, tonight, that things are much different. It seems absolutely more organized tonight. There's clearly a some route that's been taken, and yes, they'll uh, alternate and take different uh, directions, but there seems to be some organization in terms of keeping people grouped together so they don't split off into different factions. And there have been multiple instances where protesters will get in front of some of the riot police, starting to agitate them. And then some other protesters, civilians, will stand in between the two of them, making sure that things don't escalate further. I've seen civilians standing with their backs to the police, facing the protesters, making sure that they don't get too close and saying, hey, like, we're all in this together. We're all fighting the same thing. Let's, you know, keep the energy high and not turn to escalation. All right, Galad, stand by. Uh, let's keep you on the phone. I want to get to Jonathan Blakely, uh, our CBS News producer, who's also on the ground in another section of Charlotte, uh, walking among protesters. Uh, Jonathan, it is now uh, just after midnight. That curfew is in place. What are you seeing? What are you hearing from the protesters that are still on the streets? Right. Well, it seemed like uh, around 1030, it seemed like police had done a good job of dispersing the crowd that was on Highway 277. Uh, near Bank of America uh, Stadium, uh, you know, a lot of people were, were pepper sprayed and you know, knocked to the ground and sort of pushed back uh, to get off the highway. And a lot of people dispersed after that. But, you know, it didn't take very long before they uh, sort of remobilized. And this crowd, you know, by my estimation, is, is still, you know, over a thousand uh, people um, marching in the streets here. We just walked past uh, Time Warner uh, Cable uh, Arena. And, uh, you know, they're vowing to stay way past the curfew. They've been saying that for, you know, a few hours now. They have no intentions of. Jonathan, you uh, and I have covered many, many protests uh, over the last two years. You more than me. Um, give me a sense. I mean, with your experience, with your knowledge of how these uh, how these protests work, how the police interact with protesters. What is what are you seeing? What is the vibe tonight versus the last 48 hours? Uh, well, this this is actually my my first night on the ground here. But um, what I can say is, you know, similar to what Galad said. You know, there, there are a handful of protesters who sort of made it their mission to make sure things don't get out of hand and people stay organized. And, and in fact, when, you know, a section of them decided to shut down the highway, there were a lot of protesters who were pulling them back, who didn't want them to go, you know, onto the highway. So there's, a, there's a, definitely a sense in the mood that they want to keep everybody safe. They don't want anything, you know, to happen. There was one moment that was kind of uh, a little tense after the, the highway situation. Um, protesters were blocking the street, and one man got out of the car and brandished a gun um, and was sort of waving it around at, at protesters, I guess, to, you know, because they weren't letting him through. Um, he didn't fire. You know, nothing ended up happening. They, he, people kind of ran him off. But, you know, in these situations, as, as you know, all it takes is one, one thing to spark it and things go left. And, you know, a peaceful night can end up, you know, exactly the opposite. So luckily nothing happened in that situation. But, um, you know, like I said, these, these protesters have, you know, vowed to stay out well past the, uh, the curfew. So, um, you know, it's, it still remains to be seen, you know, how the night will end. Uh, you and I, Jonathan, were in Ferguson, Missouri two years ago, and we saw the posture of the police uh, at that time. It was very militarized. They were pointing weapons at civilians. Uh, over the last two days, images have come into us of the police doing exactly the opposite of that, showing restraint, showing strength, but not being aggressive with the crowd. Are you still seeing that? But for the most part, um, you know, the situation on the highway, uh, you know, it did get a little, a, a little more uh, violent than I expected. 
because, you know, as I said, they, they did block off the highway, but they were peaceful. They weren't, you know, pushing and shoving or throwing things. And once, you know, the police decided to break up the protest, it got a little more uh, physical than I was expecting. I mean, I, you know, saw one girl had, you know, a police officer's knee to her head in the, in the dirt, um, you know, near the highway. So it just, that was sort of a tense moment. But otherwise, you know, it has, uh, you know, it seems like they are showing a lot of the strength. And, you know, I'm looking back at the crowd now, um, you know, a little down from Time Warner Cable Arena. This, this, might, this might be 2,000 people. It wow. seems like it's grown from uh, what it was uh, even, even a few hours ago. Um, they've been walking past some of these residential uh, buildings and hotels and people looking out their window. They've been sort of, you know, inviting them to come join the, the march. And, you know, people have been sort of just, you know, tagging on as as. It's, uh, been happening the last few years, but the crowd is definitely bigger now as I'm looking back at it. All right, Jonathan Blakely, our CBS News producer on the ground in Charlotte, North Carolina. Jonathan, stand by. I want to go back to Gilad Thaler, who's in another section of town. Uh, these are his images that our viewers are now looking at. Uh, again, Gilad, just from the pictures that you're showing us, uh, the crowd peaceful, uh, protesting, holding signs, hands raised in solidarity, um, even though that curfew has now gone into effect. Yeah, no one seems to be too anxious about the curfew. They're kind of taking their time walking. You will hear chants here and again. Um, and people are starting to kind of save their energy, it seems like, uh, taking, you know, slow strides, uh, but continuing forcefully. They still have a lot of momentum. Uh, they don't seem to be turning away whatsoever. Uh, but I just want to show you, right, here's the protest. I'm going to walk, walk with me a little bit, and you can see the National Guard is stationed not too far away, off to the side. Uh, but as you can see, the protesters have a lot of room here to walk and express their feelings and frustrations uh, without having to confront police officers of the National Guard. But here off to the side, uh, kind of protecting a uh, parking lot, it seems, are some members of the National Guard along with some of their vehicles. Um, just standing guard, standing by, showing their... Um, sometimes you'll, you'll hear them interacting. Here you go. You can see one protester giving fist bumps to some of the members of the National Guard. And this is happening right in front of me. So there is not a lot of tension, as you can see right now. Uh, there, there appears to be a bit of a delay in the video that's coming into us. Uh, th uh, there we, we're seeing that young man uh, interacting with National Guardsmen there, Galad. Uh, uh, which is something uh, that certainly is a welcome sight, something much different than what we saw uh, last night. Uh, uh, that is, a, 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 I think, for a lot of people who are worried, uh, people across the country and people in North Carolina and Charlotte specifically, um, it is a welcome sight to see somebody who is exercising their, their constitutional right to protest, but also uh, respectful and cognizant of the job that the National Guardsmen uh, have to do there. Uh, and, and so... Um, that is uh, certainly a welcome, a welcome sight. Uh, Gilad, uh, um, as you pointed out earlier, it doesn't seem as if these protesters are in any hurry to get off the streets, but it also doesn't seem to my eyes as if the National Guard or uh, the police are in any hurry to uh, corral them off the streets. Not as far as I've seen. Now, we do know, I've seen earlier, a large contingent of police and riot gear going into a local hotel seems to be a staging area for them. So they're not, they may not be visible right now in large numbers, but we do know they are very close nearby. And a decision to just take everyone off the streets could happen within seconds. Uh, not that there's any notice of that, but we do know for a fact that they are nearby. They're in large numbers, staging with full riot gear. Um, and it remains to be seen whether they will make that decision to shut down the streets or continue to let these protesters voice their opinions. All right. That was my conversation earlier with our producers and reporters on the ground there in Charlotte, North Carolina, as we continue to see images of people still on the streets, uh, even though there is a curfew that has gone into effect Thursday night. Midnight, that curfew went into effect. But for the most part, as protesters have been peaceful, uh, there are reports that uh, as long as their protests continue to be peaceful, um, we should see a fairly peaceful reaction, peaceful posture uh, from police officers and the National Guardsmen that are also on the ground there that have been mobilized in the wake of, of two nights of uh, very uh, uh, tense and, in some cases, violent confrontations between uh, looters and rioters and police officers and other law enforcement officials. Uh, we're going to continue to monitor what is happening there on the ground uh, in Charlotte, North Carolina. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to be back on the other side of it with more news. Stay with us.